Okay, so now that we've all registered, I'm going to go ahead and get into my account by going up here to the login. And when the screen comes up, I'll put in my information. Press login. And then you can see here I have a uh, couple of Prezi's that I have already done. But I'm going to click right here where it says New Prezi. And I'll wait for it to load. It takes a minute or two depending on your connection time. And now it's asking me to pick a template. So I don't want to do, they have a number of of really neat um, pre-made templates, but I'm going to do a blank. So I'm going to come right down here to where it says start blank Prezi and click that. It brings me to a screen and you can see um, in the background there are a lot of um, boxes. It kind of gives you a framework, a grid work, I guess, um, to kind of go off of on where you want to put your individual frames. And this circle right here is what they refer to as a frame. It doesn't have to look like this. There are a number of different types of frames. You can see you can draw a bracket frame. Then there's these circle frames that I have. There's a rectangle frame. There are invisible frames, which is really great when you're um, trying to combine two different things together. So you have two things that you want um, connected together you draw an invisible frame around both of them and then you can um, connect your path to your invisible frame and they'll both show together. There are also some arrows and lines here and highlighters. And we're going to start by going to our themes and you can see here that there are also a number of themes that you can pick from. Whoopsie. There are a number of themes that you can pick from. We are going to customize current themes. So we're going to go here and customize. And it allows you, it shows you here, there's a background. So you can pick any one of these colors that you would like for the background. So for instance, you could do that. Uh, you could come up here and do a gray. There's even a whew, very bright reddish. But we're going to stay with the white because um, tomorrow we're going to go ahead and upload a photo into our background and then nest our individual pieces into that photo. So a white will work just fine for us right now. So we're going to come down here to where it says next and click that. Now it allows us to customize our titles. So uh, title one, which is this one right up here, it allows you to pick what kind of, uh, what you want it to look like, so what type of font, and then you can come over here and you can pick the color, you can do anything you like. Um, so we're going to stay pretty basic today and just go with the black. Uh, you can come down here, and this is for your title too, and you can pick a different title if you wanted, or you can uh, leave it on one of the other ones, and it will come here and you can pick any color that you like. This is a um, like a secondary um, use on it, so if you want, you can play around a little bit with that. There are a number of colors that you can pick. They're not quite as noticeable because you'll see the title is much thinner than the other ones. Some of them are more noticeable than others. So we're going to go ahead and we'll go with a gray and then you come over to your body, and the body, of course, is the actual text. And you can leave it as it is or change it to something else. And then you can come over here to the, and we're going to make it, I want my title to be really, my body to be really clear, so we're going to make it black on a white background so you can really see it. So you're going to go to the next screen when you're done with that. Since you, you've done all of your titles and your body, you're going to come over here and 
you're going to choose the color of your frame. So this particular one is a circle frame that we have selected right now. Um, so what color do we want our circle frames? They can be purple, they can be gray, they can be kind of a greenish aqua color. So you just pick whatever color you most like for your frame. Uh, we'll go with that. I like that one. I think that's a nice contrast. And then um, you can come down and pick out if you wanted to also use brackets or rectangles or you just hadn't decided and you might want to use the others. Um, I would suggest going down and picking that same color or a coordinating color. You see here you that's what it will look like if you actually were to use those. Maybe a nice lighter gray would go nice. And then um, if you do decide to use the arrows and the lines, they would like to know what color you want those. You can pick yellow, which is a little bright. I think it's kind of hard on the eyes. Um, go down. That's a nice one. So we'll use that for our arrows. And then if we want to mark our text, we're going to come down and say, well, we want to mark it in this, or we want to mark it in that. And I think we're going to stay with the yellow because that looks like a nice contrast. So that's everything um, that we want to customize about our titles, the fonts, the colors, um, the colors of our text, and the colors of our shapes and our lines and our frames, and even uh, our marker ability for highlighting text. So we're going to go ahead and press and now everything is customized for the color that we want. And remember, one of the big things to think about when you are planning your presentation is that um, many people will be a little ways away from where your presentation is happening. You want to make sure that all of your text is clear, that there's enough of a contrast between your background and your text that your readers aren't having a hard time distinguishing the text from the background. Um, you want to make sure that it's not hard on your eyes, like um, you don't use a font that's difficult to read at a distance. So keep all those things in mind when you are planning how to do your different pieces of your presentation. So everybody go ahead and continue and get um, into your blank presentation and make all those changes to customize your individual presentation.